Hey coaches, Coach Simpson. Appreciate you checking out my YouTube channel. If it's your first time seeing me on YouTube, I've got a lot of materials available on this channel. And I've also got materials available over on my website and in other places as well. Pretty much everything is FB Coach Simpson. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, of course YouTube, or go to my website and kind of get more in-depth materials. So, I want to talk about tags. So for me, um, I just put out a recent book called One Play Many Ways where I go through a lot of this idea of we want to be really, really good at the concepts we run, but be able to make them look different, present them different to a defense. It's not a unique idea to me by any means. It's been run for a long time. But one of the simple ways we do it, and maybe it can help your offense, is we use what we call the idea of a tag. So For this example, I'm going to use the snag play, which a lot of people run. And a lot of people may even do similar concepts to this. So snag for us is a day one install. You know, we want to teach all of our kids the overarching concept. I think a lot of times as coaches, what we do is we stick our X's here and our A's here and whatever you've got there. And we just teach them their route. And then the quarterback knows the concept and, and you know the concept, but your receivers really don't. They don't really know what we're looking for and what we're trying to accomplish. Okay, I think it is important as you teach it, that all of your players know not only their responsibility, but the other route. And a quick side note to that, that means you have to be very limited in the amount of concepts you run. And so, and I think that's important because we're going to take this one play and again, run it many ways. And that's where that whole book came from. Okay. So for instance, this is snag for us. They want install. We're going to teach outside guy. He's running a simple curl or a convert to kind of a moving uh, slant if we get man coverage. Number two is going to run a corner route. Okay. And don't fall on, and don't just think this is the way we got to run this. I'm just using this as an example for the thought process. Okay. And then we have a sim simple shoot route by number three. So we can run it in trips and it looks like that. Okay. We can also get into another formation and run the same play. Let's say we want to get into maybe a pro type look. Okay, and run this. Well, we've now taught our kids, all right, if this is one and that's two, then you are three. So now we can run maybe a swing from the backfield. Uh, and was, uh, what we tell our kids is, how would you think would be the best way to get there? You have to get there, how's the best way to do that? And a lot of times they start putting it together. We may have to adjust, we may want to run a shoot instead of a swing, but it's the same idea. It changed nothing for us, but to a defense, a minute ago they were in a trip suggest. And now they're covering two by two and having to account for a running back. So that's a very different look to a defense. Not different to your quarterback, the read may not even change, but you're presenting it different to a defense just by tagging it different with, with a formation. Okay? We can do the same idea with a motion. So we can line up, not in trips, and shift or motion two trips and run the same concept. So those are just motions, okay? It's a tag in our formation, but we're gonna end up in the same place. It, again, a very inexpensive install for you as a coach, but think about as a defensive coordinator, you've now presented him trips by formation, two by two, and swinging it back, and now a motion across into the, a trips look. To a defense, he's now had to prepare for three different formations. I know it's the same concept, but it's very difficult for a defense to prepare that way. Okay, for an offense, pretty simple. Then you can tag routes. Okay, so let's go ahead, just right now we're gonna just live in trips. We could do all the same stuff with motioning and getting there how we want to. Right now we're just gonna live in trips, okay? And then we have a tag that we call switch. So switch for us in our offense tells play side number one and two to switch routes. So number one and two to switch routes. So, and was it easy teach? We ask him, what does that guy do on snag? Well, he runs a curl that could convert to whatever. That's you, okay? What does our slot normally do? He runs a corner. Well, if you run a corner from the numbers, you're gonna run out of bounds. So we're gonna run a corner just like that. Of course, it looks maybe better than my drawing. Keep our shoot route. Did that change anything for the read for our quarterback? We don't. We always read a person. So our quarterback's 
I don't, I'm not smart enough to know all the other stuff. I just know, you know, read a defender. So we read the same defender on the same pass concepts, okay? But we're the same for us. For a defense, is this a very different look? Absolutely, a very different look. And they may have caused issues different coverages. Your kids don't need to know that. Your quarterback doesn't need to know that. You as a coach may not even know all the ins and outs of it. But you're presenting the same thing by tagging, switch, and getting a different look, okay? Then you can tag routes off of it. So if you get a defense that wants to be kind of a heavy roll down defense, so we run this a lot, okay, we run this a lot, and they're attacking down with a safety on the, basically on the, uh, the curl route, we can tag that and go. Okay, basically a hitch and go or whatever and go. Well, now we're gonna run this and go. And we're gonna pick on that one defender. Is this a different pass route? I don't think so. I think this is snag with a tag. Okay, and it's just giving us the ability offensively to come in and run the same play many ways. Again, the whole idea of the book, one play many ways was this. We do this with every concept we run which means we obviously are limited in how many concepts we run, but when we present it to a defense, it doesn't look that way. Because we're forcing you to prepare for all these tags, all these built-in answers, and then we start throwing the formations and the motions on it, and now you're really in trouble. So just wanted to give you kind of food for thought there on, on inserting tags potentially inside of your offense in the passing game. We do it in the running game as well. Okay, the ability to RPO, we do the same thing. You know, but for me, it's all about how can I make it hard on a defense and simple on an offense.